they went into a little bit of a zone. They're in a one three one zone. And you got to be able to read it. The shot is going to be. But he may make this. But the shot is really in the corner. Struce dumps it inside. Deadman. Three year period. Right. You know, where we, we lived through this pandemic or almost, almost three years. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled and so proud of everybody who's in this community. Seeing an uptick, you know, combination of the flu and, and COVID and, you know, and, and other ailments. League, but I'm more importantly thrilled for our society. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to move. I'm going to. To, to to China right away. Mass, right. I mean, they've been watching NBA games now all this season. They've been seeing, I mean, you know, we're very, very popular in China. There's incredible affinity for the game. There's huge fan base. Young boys and girls are playing it. Mm -hmm. We've gotten involved in academies in China. We have this new league now. League now. Certainly, digital and cellular technology has changed the world where these games are easily available to anyone um, with a smartphone. This year, he decided, um, in partnership with Jim Morris here at yeah. the NBA Pacers, who has these global connections, to distribute toys to the kids of Ukraine who are obviously suffering immensely. This year, he decided, um, in partnership with Jim Morris here at yeah. the NBA Pacers, who has these global connections, to distribute toys to the kids of Ukraine who are obviously suffering immensely. You know, I know Chris, you and yeah. Quinn have been involved in this sort of in the, in the sports business. Have nine offensive rebounds. Rick Carlisle said we needed to be a valuable wake-up call. But again, it's a low-scoring game, somewhat predictable in these Heat Pacers matchups. Go right. And now in Miami. They zoned it. With a left hand, he left it short. McConnell picks up the loose ball. Matherin inside to Smith. Foul.